Does everyone have some space to work? At some point tonight, we're going to uh, unfold our sectional chart. You'll need a little more space. And also probably should have uh, some nice big scratch uh, paper sheets and also a pencil. We've talked a little bit about the wind tonight. Uh, we're going to take a look at the back of your E6B computers that you have and we're going to learn how to uh, do a, a wind correction uh, with that. The wind has a, a component of a tailwind or a headwind and then it also has a, uh, uh, at times, a crosswind component to it. It affects our ground speed and it also affects the heading that we need to hold to make good a course along the ground. Uh, those are all things we're going to work with tonight uh, with our uh, sectional chart and with our E6B computer. So that's what we're going to uh, work on tonight. Uh, then it gets into the wind triangle or vector analysis. We're going to draw a, a course line from Prive Core up to Quincy, Illinois on our sectional chart. We're going to do that with a nice uh, heavy black line of pencil with our plotter. And then we're going to go through and I'm going to give you some of the given information for the flight. And then you're going to make some measurements and do some calculation. So one of them is going to be 336 degrees and the other direction from Quincy to Creve Core is going to be 156 degrees. The reciprocal. 180 yeah. degree difference. Yeah, okay, that's where I got confused earlier, so that makes a lot more sense. 